All right, Bola buddies. So here is my plush pile. And I was kind of taking a peek at it and I noticed this right here. You guys, I just did a video on this. And I'm like, oh my goodness, I've had a hundred plus dollar bolo sitting here in my money pile that I have not gotten to. I need to list this plush. I need to list it. Look how cute this guy is. I don't know if he's worth anything or not, but oh my goodness. So I plan on getting this listed today. If you missed this video, definitely check it out. Um, really just wanted to check in, say hello. I'm uh, listing today. I'm taking some time and I'm just listing. I'm preloading really is what I'm doing. I want I wanted to preload for a show on whatnot on Friday night. No, I'm sorry. I switched it to Saturday night and I started preloading and I'm like, okay, I go on at 10 18 on Saturday and I go on at 9 18 on Sunday. And I feel like when I go on earlier, people stay longer because people get tired, right? So I'm like, I wonder if I can clone the 10 items that I've preloaded from my Saturday show to my Sunday show. And guess what, you guys? You can, and I'm going to show you how to do it right now. So that is super cool. All right, I'm going to start by clicking on the show that I want to clone it to, which is my Sunday show. And then I'm going to hit the add button right there. And I am going to click the add button up there. And I'm going to find the show that I want to clone from, which is the Saturday show. Then I'm going to hit select all. I have 10 items here right now. I'm going to confirm by hitting yes. And then look, they're right there. All 10 of them are right there. I'm going to show you. I'm going to click on the house auction tab and you can see all 10 items. So now what I need to do is go over to my other show, the show before, which was my Saturday show and check it. And they're still there also. So I'm going to have to click that little edit button and delete each one of those items. If you guys know a quicker way to delete, let me know. All right, so that's how you clone when you mess up. <laughs> I was so excited. So Sunday night is going to be completely preloaded jewelry. I don't know how many items I'm going to get up, but I will see you guys at 9, 18 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's going to be uh, some really nice stuff. Vintage, rhinestones, all the, all the preloaded glam, okay? And then you want to see what's behind me? I'll show you that in just a second. All right, Bola Buddies, if you're not on Whatnot, come follow me. Even if you don't want to buy from me, just come hang out in the chat. We have a great time. All of this jewelry is future Whatnot shows. Whoop, whoop. Can you believe it? It's going to be so fun. And then I also sell toys and all kinds of stuff. But down in the description of the video, there is a referral link. You can get $15 to shop when you join with that. And you can spend that with anyone. You don't have to spend it with me. If you're thinking about selling on Whatnot, I also have a referral link for that down below. And I also have two how-to videos. There's actually a couple other how-to videos. But if you want to learn how to sell on Whatnot, um, I have one that shows you my setup. And it walks you through actually selling on Whatnot. And another one that tells you how to ship on Whatnot. So definitely check out those videos if you're thinking about it. You know, everybody's talking about slow sales. eBay's slow. The other platforms are slow. You know, you kind of got to diversify. Am I still selling on eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari? Yes, I actually just started selling on Etsy again. So get your items on multiple platforms. I use List Perfectly for that. I start on eBay and then I cross post. I do recommend, however, using the catalog if, um, if you can, okay? <laughs> I'm not using the catalog. I have a video that shows you how to use the catalog and how not to use it. You can do it however you want. That's so if you don't use the catalog, you're gonna miss out on a lot of features, especially many of the features that are now in the new Pro Plus plan. Let's talk about that. What's great about List Perfectly, but they did just come out with the Pro Plus. <laughs> they just came out with the Pro Plus plan that's gonna have the auto D-list. It's in beta right now. So if you're on there and you're on the Pro Plus plan, I think you re can request to be in the beta program, all right? So anyway, check that out. There are so many great features and new things coming to the Pro Plus plan. Go watch this video right here for more details. There's a special going on right now where you can get the Pro Plus plan for the price of 
the pro plan. I have a video on that. You can check that out. I'll link the information down below. And I've been using List Perfectly since 2019 and I still love it and highly recommend it. So you guys know that I won't tell you I like something unless I like it. All right, let's keep going in this video. All right, so these are 10 to 11 pound crafters lots, all right? And in a future video, you're gonna see what I'm gonna be doing with these, all right? It's gonna be in a future video, so watch for that. If you're looking for crafters junk items, when I say crafters junk, it means everything is broken. This stuff is not wearable, but you can see there are great, beautiful crafters items that you guys can use to craft. So, um, yeah, anyway, definitely, definitely, definitely stay tuned for that video if you're looking for crafters items. Back, I talked to you guys about my husband putting in a jewelry shelf for me. <laughs> Believe it or not, this is all jewelry except for the bottom shelf. That's stuff that's in my buy it now on whatnot. And I am still not done putting things in totes for my shows. So if you like jewelry, be sure to come over to my whatnot show. But I also have this huge money pile that I'm working on getting through. Um, all of these totes were the Goodwill Benz things. I have sold all of that stuff except for a few things that are still out in my um, other room, toys that I did not get to yet. So I'm gonna have some more toy shows. But I'm starting to feel really good about getting, I think, I can't remember if there's stuff in this one or not. Oh, I think there is. But these three totes were full. I think this is full of, wait, no, it's this one. This is full of crafters items, like beads and all of that stuff. Does anybody want me to have a crafters show on whatnot? This is all cat's meow. A show on Cat's Meow, All Cat's Meow. Would that interest anyone? I've done pretty good with my themed shows. I did Loving Family the other day, and I barely put a dent in it, so I'll probably be having another one of those shows. I'm pretty sure during my Loving Family show, I sold close to 50 items, and I still have this tote full and this tote full. So definitely going to have another Loving Family show. And I've got Paw Patrol. I have so many shows that I could have that are themed. But um, yeah, I mean, you can only get through so many items in a show. So lots of loving family left. So stay tuned for that in the future. What's in here? You guys, we could have a party just looking through my totes of inventory. All this, all this, it's full of inventory. I've got this bear. And I bought it because it reminded me of one that I had during my childhood. You can see right here, it was 1999 back in the day. <laughs> but who wants to ship this beast? I mean, seriously, who wants to ship it? It's huge. I don't even know what to do it with it. I haven't looked it up. I think, yeah, Xavier Roberts is the designer of Cabbage Patch Kids. It's a fur skin. But this guy is big. He's not like the little ones. He's got a bee on his head. I don't know. I need to look it up, but I do not want to ship it. I don't want to ship it. What do you guys suggest? It just keeps sitting in my money pile because I don't know what to do with it. If you have that problem, let me know down in the comments. All right, Bolo Buddies, this really wasn't a what sold or anything fancy like that. Just kind of catching up with everyone, letting you know kind of what's going on in my life. I have been focusing a lot on whatnot, but I am getting back on Etsy um, slowly but surely still listing on eBay, just pushing forward and doing as much as I can. You have probably noticed that I am doing a video every other day now on YouTube. That's what I'm going to do for now. Um, I am going to continue to do YouTube, but every single day uh, is exhausting. <laughs> so I hope that you guys will catch up on maybe some of the videos that you missed in the past, because I'm sure that it was pretty hard for you guys to keep up on a video every single day as well. So let me know what you think about that. Do you prefer the every other day? Is it easier to like maintain and try to keep up with what's going on? And if you haven't come over to my, to my whatnot, I invite you to come over and hang out. It would be so great to see you over in the chat. If you come over from my Bolo Buddies YouTube channel, please, 
you know, give, give a shout out, say, Hey, I'm from your YouTube channel. I always appreciate it. When you guys come over, I will tell you that watching the chat during the whatnot show is really, really hard. So if I miss your comment, I'm not ignoring you. It's just, I'm showing jewelry or I'm showing toys or I'm showing whatever I'm showing. Uh, tomorrow I have a show on hair accessories. Uh, the show, the hair accessory shows are pretty awesome. They're not just, you know, your standard hair accessories. We, that, some of them look like jewelry. So I hope to see you guys tomorrow for that. It's during the day. It's at 10, 28 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I will be rating Cat Feeling Thrifty after that. So I hope you guys will follow her as well. And my little owl up here is from Seem So Vintage, who is amazing. You guys see her in my chats all the time. She helps me moderate over on Whatnot, and she made me that owl, and I absolutely love it. So please follow Seems So Vintage, and I hope to see you guys this weekend on Whatnot. Thanks for watching.